Correct grout placement and curing cannot be overlooked in cord slab and box beam bridge construction. In this video we'll cover getting ready, approved mixes, cleaning, application, sampling, details, check it over. Consult the construction manual section 430-6 for further details. To get ready for grout placement, make sure the contractor cleans the surface, shear keys, dowel holes, and recessed areas. Remove all dirt, debris, grease, and oil. Next, saturate the concrete surfaces with clean water and remove excess water prior to placing grout. Use backer rod or spray foam to seal cracks, holes, etc. Due to spray foam expansion, it should be trimmed as required. Remember to keep the surface clean during backer rod placement. The goal is to seal the joints and to keep the grout in the joints, not allowing any grout below into the creek or settling on top of bearings or caps. After receiving the grout on site, check to make sure that it is on the M&T list as an approved grout for structures. In most applications, prepackaged grout will be used. It's important to follow the manufacturer's recommendation for mixing. Instructions should be printed on the grout bag packaging. Only when allowed by the manufacturer and the engineer aggregate may be added to the mix. Check your special provisions and talk to your local concrete testing lab to determine if grout cubes or cylinder samples should be gathered. Now that you're ready for grout application, let's review the basics. When pre-stressed cord slabs are utilized, shear keys, dowel holes, and recesses at the ends of the transverse strands shall be filled with an approved non-metallic, non-shrink grout. The non-shrink grout shall be cured for a minimum of three days and until it reaches a compressive strength of 5,000 PSI. When filling the shear keys, the technician should visually check under the cord slabs to ensure the grout does not leak between the slabs. If grout leakage occurs, the material should be removed immediately due to the difficulty removing when set has occurred. It is important when grouting on crown typical sections to grout the center shear keys before post tensioning. In order to allow for the correct expansion in the spans, be aware of fixed ends and expansion ends when grouting your dowel holes. For example, dowel holes at fixed ends should be filled completely with grout. But for expansion ends, dowel holes should be filled with a proved joint sealer to one half an inch above the dowels and then topped off with grout. After the grout is cured and before overlaying the slabs, make sure to check over the shear keys. Check for cracking, especially on the outside keyways nearest the barrier rail. If superficial cracking is observed, epoxy sealant can be used. Also, make sure the contractor leaves a good bonding surface at the grouted keyways the raked surface of the cord slab should be cleaned of any overgrouting. Prior to placing loads that exceed the legal limit on the tension and cured spans, the contractor shall submit for approval a detailed description of the equipment along with his intended protection of the cord slab units while the equipment is on the structure.